you want to colorize an iMovie clip, perhaps with a gradient. In this short instructional video, I'll show you how to do it with transparent overlays. I'm going to show you several approaches with increasing complexity. So here's an index you can use to jump to the section you might be interested in. First, we'll have a quick glance at iMovie's built-in clip filters and color correction in case one of those does what you want. Then we'll download a solid background PNG file to use as a partially transparent overlay. Next, we'll download a gradient background overlay file for more visual interest. Lastly, for the ambitious, we'll create our own custom alpha channel gradient for a more subtle look. What you are looking at right now is an animated gradient I created with Keynote. If you'd like me to make a video on that technique, leave me a comment below. Alright, what I have on my timeline is a short clip I filmed of the Maui seashore. We'll use that for our guinea pig. Let's take a quick glance at iMovie's clip filters. There may be something in there that you can use directly. You can see there's a menu of 30 color effects, and if one of those fits your needs, just select it and you're done. There are some color effects like one that gives you a bluish cast. If you can't find what you are looking for there, try the color correction tools that look like a color palette. You can use these to get a warmer or cooler tone, or to vary the color intensity. Okay, if none of these fits the bill, let's look at doing a color overlay or filter. The easiest is to download a PNG file from the web. You can see the search I used here and the website I went to. I picked out an intense red color. I selected a 1080p file, then just right clicked on it to download it to the finder. And there it is in my download folder. From there we can drag it right on top of my Maui scene. Select the clip and since it's a still you can drag it to make it as long as you like. From there we can dial down the overlay opacity level to make our clip as red as we wish. We can also fade the color in and out to give us a transition, something that the clip filters and color correction tools cannot do. Always nice to have that extra creative control. There we have it, our colorized Maui Beach clip with the fade in and out of the colorization. A lot of times when you see a colorization effect, it's not a single color, it's a gradient that goes smoothly from one color to another. What we can do is modify our search and look for gradient background PNG files. You can see the website I ended up going to. I chose this gradient that goes from blue to green. Then clicked on the download button and once again saved the image to my downloads folder. There it is. Before we import it, let's shorten up that red overlay to give us a little room. Then we can just drag it from the finder onto the iMovie timeline. Once we have the right length, we can dial the opacity up and down just as we did before. Same thing with the fade in and out. There we go. Looks like a hazy day at the beach. Now, for the truly intrepid, we are going to make our own custom gradient that fades from fully intense to fully transparent, where we just want to colorize part of the image, but in a smooth fashion. Start out with a blank wide format slide, then select the background. From here we could make our own gradient fill using exactly the colors we want instead of downloading from the web. We can even change the angle of the gradient to correspond with our scene. But we are going to go a step further with an advanced gradient fill. Select the color you're fading out to and set the opacity to zero so it's completely transparent. It'll look blackish in Keynote. Make your fade in color fully opaque. Now we're going to export this slide as a PNG image. So File, Export, Images, and then we have to change the format from the JPEG default to PNG, then select Next. Put it someplace convenient. 
I'm just going to my desktop and export. Let's hide Keynote, then in iMovie once again shorten up our existing overlays to make room for the new one. Let's slide iMovie out of the way so we can see our desktop. You'll see that Keynote creates a folder when you export to images because it creates an image for each slide. We'll open up that folder and there's our PNG file. Just drag it onto the timeline. Let's pretty things up a bit. Then we'll add in a fade in and fade out. When we play it back, this creates almost a burning sun effect up in the sky. But you can clearly see that the color goes from full opacity in the upper right to totally transparent in the lower left. That's all there is to it. I hope you found this video useful. And if it was, please click like and or subscribe below. Thanks for watching.